In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this typography and make it look like it was drawn by hands. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Ruel here, and as you can see, this is the final output. Now, this layer panel is total mess, don't worry about it. Uh, this one is much more cleaner, it just has different font. Don't forget everything. It's easy, I'm gonna show you how to do it. First of all, we need to go to File, Open, and select a texture that you wanna use as background. It can be fabric, paper, whatever you like. So I'm gonna open it. And also, if you wanna use any of the fonts or texture that I use in this tutorial, the download link is in description, so feel free to use it. So let's start with the word more. Uh, for that, select your type tool, and the font I'm using is the Historia Demo. Uh, so just click it, and I'm gonna type in more. Um, lowercase and then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so command T and then I'm gonna make it a bit bigger and in old version hold shift key when you make it big so it doesn't lose the proportion so I think this one looks good confirm it the color of the text doesn't matter because we are not gonna use the actual font so I'm gonna go move it a little bit here now I'm gonna add the paint texture to give it that you know painty look <laughs> So go to file and this time I'm going to go to place embedded uh, and select this paint texture and place it uh, right on top of your word. Confirm it. Now what I want to do is apply a layer mask on this uh, paint texture which looks like the word more. So to do that, hold your command key and click on this T here. So it will make selection of the word more and after that make sure that your texture layer is active, right? Then click on the layer mask icon here and boom, perfect. Now, if I turn off eye of this thing, the, you can see the uh, black color more and we don't want that. So I'm gonna hide that and I only want this to be visible. And that's it. Now, after this step, you cannot edit your word. So make sure your spellings are correct uh, before you do it. Also, uh, if you wanna move around the texture, you can do that. First of all, unlink the mask from here, then make sure that the texture is active, and then you can move the texture around like this. So you can select your favorite part, whatever looks best to you. So I think this one looks uh, pretty good. Now we're gonna make it look like it was done with, you know, paint brush. And to do that, first of all, we need to rasterize this layer. So right click here and select rasterize layer. So you can use smudge tool on it. Now let's use the smudge tool. So for that, you can right click here and then select the smudge tool. Then click on this brush icon. And with the brush, you can select any of these brushes, uh, whatever looks good to you. But just make sure it's not the regular soft round brush. Anything other than that will work good. So use whatever looks good to you. I think this one is okay. Then close it. And after that, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And in the strength, keep it between 40 to 50 because we don't want it way too strong. So this looks good. Then uh, start smudging it. Now here's a tip, when you smudge it, don't do it like this. It won't look good. Uh, do it like you're actually trying to write the word down. You see, like this. So now because of the texture, as you can see, we have so much variation in different colors. As you can, this is a bit darker, this is lighter, this has a little bit different shade. This makes it look a lot less flat. Now I'm gonna show you how to change color of this text. But before we do that, I need to make it a little bit more colorful. So for that, go to your adjustment layer and then select Vibrance. And first of all, try Vibrance and make it full. So as you can see, it's not that impactful. Oops. Uh, here. <laughs> And you also need to make saturation a little bit more. I think this is good. And close it. Now I'm gonna, uh, what do you call, apply hue saturation to change the color itself. So go to adjustment layer and then hue saturation. And then I'm gonna change the hue. So as you can see, now you have a lot more options. So I think this one looks really nice. And also I'm gonna mess around with lightness a little bit. So I think uh, plus 15 or something like that looks good. Now you can also use this layer directly uh, without using vibrance, but I want a little bit more control on my saturation. So that's why I'm keeping it on different layer. Nothing that crazy. So this looks okay. 
Now I'm going to show you how to blend this word more so that you can see the texture of paper from behind. And no, we are not going to use any of these blend modes. I tried using it, doesn't look good. So instead of doing that, I'm going to right click on the layer and then select blending options. And in the blending options, as you can see, this underlying layer. So uh, I'm going to use this slider. But as you can see that it doesn't look that smooth. So for that, uh, hold your option key and then drag this slider. So it will blend in just the right amount of uh, font. I mean texture. <laughs> Uh, and then you can decide how much blending do you want. You can go all the way for a really faded look or something like this. And in this type of situation, having more saturation will help you a little bit. So I think this looks okay. Uh, somewhere around like 218, hit okay. And in my vibrance, I'm gonna go and decrease the saturation a little bit. Uh, okay, this looks good and close it. So this is okay. Now in case if you wanna modify the texture, you can just click on it select a move tool and then you can move it around but well, the only problem is that once you move it around you will have to use the smudge tool again to blend everything other than that you're good and also if you want to make your text bigger first of all you have to turn on the link then you click on the layer mask then you press command t and you can make it however big you want uh, so that's clear now i'm going to show you how to type the word low and how to blend black color with the texture which is a little bit trickier so I'm going to group all of this so it's easier to manage. So click on this one, hold your shift key, click on the top one and press command G and boom, it's grouped. And then I'm going to rename it to more. Uh, now let's uh, type the word low. So for that, select a type tool and the font I'm using is I think six, uh, six caps regular. So activate this one and then I'm type the word low. L O V E everything in capital. Uh, then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So Command T, hold your Shift key in old version 2019. You don't need it. So I'm gonna make it big like this. So I think this looks good. And basically, uh, you start from bottom of this word and keep it just as much on the upper side. Uh, so you can also read the word you know now for this word i'm also going to use the same texture again so you can go to file then go to place embedded select the same texture and place it now just like the last time i'm going to apply a layer mask so hold your command key and click on the word low so we have selection of that then make sure that your texture layer is active then apply a layer mask so only texture is visible there now we don't need this one, I mean we need this one, but we don't need to see it. So you can turn off the eye, so only this is visible. And again, I'm gonna turn off the link, activate the texture, make sure my move tool is active, and then move it around until it looks good. So I think uh, this one, this one looks good. The color doesn't matter because we're gonna make it black and white. So to do that, first of all, we need to like rasterize the layer. So you can right click and then rasterize. Then go to image, adjustment, and then you can go to desaturate. So it's black and white. Now I'm gonna select my smudge tool, uh, just like the last time, but this time setting will be a lot higher. So I'm gonna keep it like somewhere like 70, 75%. And then you can go and start blending it like this. Looks pretty good. Now we need to make it really dark. So it looks like, you know, the letter is written with black ink and not gray. So go to image uh, adjustment and one you can go to here saturation and then here you can reduce the lightness. So it's, you know, makes it basically darker. Uh, there's one thing this you can do, uh, hit okay. And another thing you can use curves. So you can go to image adjustment and then where is uh, here, select curves. And in the curves, you can make this a little bit brighter. So you can preserve a little bit of white texture and then you can make it pretty damn dark like this. So I think this looks also pretty good. And then you can hit okay. Now I'm gonna blend it with the texture just like the word more. So for that, right click, select blending options. And this time in the blend if, instead of using gray, I'm gonna select blue one. Then hold my option key and then I'm going to drag this one like this. So as you can see, it blends in real nice. Don't worry about this thing. I'm going to show you how to mask it out. 
So for now, I'm gonna go and blend it a little bit more, just like this, and then hit OK. Looks good, but I want like a little bit different blending. So for that, I'm gonna press Command J. So it will make duplicate of it. And then right click, uh, go to my blending options of the duplicate here, and then make it back to normal. Hit OK. So this is basically regular low. Uh, and then I'm gonna reduce its opacity so I can blend it with the texture and as you can see uh, if I zoom in you can see the texture through it and I can go back and make it a little bit more visible like this and then hit OK so this basically the second layer it gives you a lot more control like how much texture do you want to see so I'm gonna make it 100% and all the texture is gone and then you can reduce it uh, and you can see little bit of texture however much you want and if you're a beginner and the second layer is confusing you just don't use it uh, it's not that big of a deal it's just for control so uh, this is done now I'm going to show you how to mask it out so like there is this space between words for that first of all we need to group all three of this so I'm going to hold my shift key and click on the word low basically all three of them are selected then press command G and you can also like right click and then select group from layer and it will group everything and hit OK. So I'm going to rename it to love. Now I'm going to apply layer mask on this entire group. But before we do that, we need to make selection of the word more. So I'm going to open it up, hold my command key and click on the word more. So we have selection of it. Now we don't need it anymore. Close the group. Now back to the group love. So I need to make this selection a little bit bigger for that. I'm going to go to select modify and then expand and in the expand. First of all, always try with like four or five pixels and see how much it expands. So I'm going to keep it five hit. Okay. So as you can see, it's expanding a little bit, but not as much. So I'm going to go to my select modify and expand again. And I'm going to expand again more five pixel and hit. Okay. This seems perfect. Good. Now all you have to do is apply the layer mask. So make sure that the group love is active and then click on the layer mask and it's a pause it. I know, calm down. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So make sure this is active, then simply press command I and it's inverted, easy as that. And for this leftover area, super easy to fix. Just grab your brush tool, make sure color is black and opacity is 100 and then uh, make it a little bit smaller and then you can erase it just like it. Also, you can make it harder so it doesn't end up erasing something extra. So I'm gonna go and boom. And there you have it, little bit of space between both of the words and bottom of the low is not visible. Uh, now I'm gonna show you how to add those dots around it and it's actually a lot easier than you might think. So to create those dots, first of all, I'm gonna show you on the more. Uh, so activate the more, open it up and activate this layer mask here. The texture one, yeah. So select this one and make sure your brush tool is active. The round regular brush, uh, super hard, opacity 100%. Then make it a little bit smaller like this. And in the color, you will make it to the white. And again, make sure that you're painting on the mask of this texture layer. And then just do clicks like this. So this is done and just like this you can make dots on the word love. So close it, open up the group love, activate the layer mask. You don't have to do on the second one, just on this one, okay? And in case if you make a dot that you don't like, for example this one seems a little bit bigger, you can change back to black color and then you can erase it like this. Then change back to white color and make the dot whatever size you want. So so that's it and this is the final output. I think dots are a little bit bigger than I wanted them to be. But other than that, I think this is pretty good. 
uh, if you have any questions or suggestions uh, i think you will have because this is a little bit complicated than usual so if you have any questions feel free to ask me in comment section below and if you want to check out more videos by me you can click on that subscribe button and visit my channel so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop